Mr. McClendon, thank you so much for the invitation this evening. I yes, know we all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm still sitting in fix it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into our case this evening. I will start with the city of Allen's case this evening. Uh, Matt, if you will, please uh, present case DA 2017-16, uh, rezoning request for environmental audit and assessment. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a request to rezone three parcels of land totaling 0.58 acres from R6 to M2 zoning. Property is located on the west side of Milton Road, a few hundred feet south of Cement Avenue. And as you see on the map, this is at the northwest corner of Hawkins Street in Middleton. Um, you see a lot of M2 zoning in the area. Um, character area is Future Industrial Activity Center, uh, which calls for industrial zoning or intensive commercial zoning. Um, and in the aerial, you see the subject property, which contains an existing residence, um, which I believe is currently vacant, but has been used as a rental residence in the past. Um, you see several industrial uses around there, mainly in the form of outdoor storage, um, as well as warehousing to the west, and then a remnant of a neighborhood on Williams Lane, uh, which is a row of a few houses, which you see immediately west of the subject property. Um, the R6 zoning, like we talked about at the work session, is all that remains of what was a much larger residential area, but all the development patterns in here have been transitioning to industrial over the past few decades. Um, the applicant has purchased the properties. Um, they've cleared um, the vegetation that was there and started outdoor storage, thinking that this was industrial property. Um, learned that it was not, and that outdoor storage requires an in few zoning. Um, in your packet, there is the survey, which shows the three parcels that where the existing house sits in relation to that. Um, something of note here is if you look on the southern parcel, there's a 20-foot wide sewer easement it goes through that part of the property, and that does not allow any buildings to be placed on it, uh, which means any future redevelopment of this property with industrial buildings would be somewhat of a challenge. And keep in mind, these are three parcels, and all together they total barely over a half acre in size. Um, the side plan is in your packet. Um, of course, shows the series of the house. Um, per the land development regulations, they will need to enclose their outdoor storage area with an oak pick fence or screen. And also alongside the rear property lines, they are required to plant vegetation to screen it from view from neighboring properties. In this case, the applicant is proposing the 15-foot wide landscaped area along the western and northern property lines and to be planted with pine trees as their form of evergreen vegetation. Um, <clears throat> subject property currently looks like this as you look at it from Middleton Road, that's the existing residence. From the corner of Hawkins and Middleton looking north, you see this and you can see the outdoor storage already in progress there. Um, around the property, this is the view <coughs> further down Hawkins, looking across at a diagonal um, across the residential property that is immediately to the west. Um, what is not shown in here, I meant to include it, was a photo from a few years ago. There used to be a solid fence along the property line. Um, the applicant took that down as part of their clearing efforts. And of course now on their site plan, they're proposing to put back uh, actually a better fence uh, with some vegetation that was not there before. Um, elsewhere, this is the concrete um, industries property to the north, which already has outdoor storage. This is further north of Middleton. To the northeast is the Georgia Power Storage Yard. To the southeast and across is a, uh, another outdoor storage facility, um, that is Jerry Cooper's property. Um, and then to the south, on the other side of Hawkins Lane, is the entrance and parking area for advanced disposal, where they park their garbage trucks. Um, this is the view of Williams Lane, looking from Hawkins up towards Savannah Avenue. As you can see, it's a very narrow street. There's a few houses on the east side and then a very large existing warehouse immediately on the right of way there along the west side. And this is a view across the residential property looking east toward the subject property. And you can see the Georgia Power um, facility in the background there. Um, Planning Commission, uh, as we talked about at the work session, staff is finding this consistent with our comprehensive plan and our stands for exercise of zoning power, keeping in mind that the character area of industrial um, no longer allows residential zoning, so even the existing zoning that's there is not compliant. So with that, we're recommending approval. Glad to answer any questions you might have. Commissioner, any questions for staff on this? Matt, you did say that there would, there's going to be a fence up on two sides, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, so the site plan in your packet shows a fence all the way around their storage area, which they're required to put. 
in place and then along their side of their property lines, which in this case is the west line and the north line, they have to put a 15-foot wide landscaped area. You can call it a buffer. It's not technically a buffer yard. Um, if a building were being built on here, then a buffer yard would be required. But for outdoor storage, it does not trigger that. <coughs> However, outdoor storage has its own requirements under the zoning regs, which require 15 feet of landscaping and an 8-foot solid fence of some kind. And the landscaping has to be upgraded. Okay. They're being uh, they going to leave that existing house there? They are proposing to leave it there, uh, possibly rent it again. Okay. Um, they might use it as a small storage building. It is not very big. It's about 700 square feet. Um, or they may go ahead and take it down at a future day. They just didn't see a need to do it yet. Um, and I think as a rental property, which is I think what it was used before, it's still <laughs> eligible for that. I believe it still has active utility accounts uh, with the city for water and sewer, but I don't think it's currently occupied. Any other questions? There being none, we will now entertain anyone, anyone here this evening wishing to speak in favor of this case, come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this case, please come forward at this time. Good evening, sir. If you would state your name, address, for the record. My name is Murray Hassan. Do I think I'll And directly across, you've got advanced. They, that's that's probably as, as few uh, garbage trucks as you'll see there. And at any time, you can see 40, 50 of them right there. Across the street, on this uh, uh, morning of Mr. Cooper, you've got more power. At any given time, uh, there's an average of 14 to 16 fuel power trucks right there uh, around the fence. And you can see that that's not an opaque barrier. I would be the only one really uh, constructing a compound or, or, or uh, anything about steer or anything else. What I want to do is put my heavy machinery in. And uh, uh, Matt, we can tear down the fence. I, there's never been a fence there uh, between the neighbors and mine. I just want to make that clear. What the neighbors did, apparently they took that down. And apparently there were quite a few trees in there. I will let them. But um, what we're doing is we've gone in there and we've excavated the roots as we've had time it's on our other projects. And um, uh, we will haul those off. I can get them all off in another couple of weeks and carry them to the landfill or, or uh, you know, sanitary land, not sanitary, but you know, you know what they call it. So, um, really, I don't see. a reason for, for putting <coughs> a, a fence, uh, uh, you know, to obscure everything. No one else is obscure Yes, sir. Any questions for Mr. Gaskins this evening, Commissioner? Can you, excuse me, no, please go to Commissioner Hall. Uh, 
Can you explain why the rest of these don't have advantage? Because of yes, sir. So these are old established uses they're grandfathered in on performing. If they were to be a new use today, they would be required to do the same thing. Because LDR is in effect now? Correct. And these are the requirements of the use. Uh, the applicant has given you some rationale and argument for a variance potential, uh, which would be approved by Zoning Board of Appeals. What is on your agenda this evening is the zoning change from R6 to M2. Okay. And I do have someone who has uh, paid money to rent that place there. Commissioner, do you have a question for presented? Thank you, Mr. Gaskin. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? You can come yes. before this time. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of this request? Oh. Are you speaking in favor, ma'am? Okay, but what? what a, if there's no one else wishing to speak in favor of this request, I will open the platform to anyone wishing to speak against this request. Anyone wishing to speak against this request? <clears throat> Can you state your name and address for the record, please, ma'am? I'm Nina Berry, and I live at 219 Blue Lane. Yes, ma'am. I'm a against it. Uh, it used to be two houses there, and when they tore the first house down, we had rats and, and snakes and stuff started to grow and grow up in it. And um, we uh, signed a petition for our neighborhood on uh, June 26th, 27th. They're trying to get the neighborhood back cleaned up, mm -hmm. and because people say they'll do one thing when they move in our neighborhood and do other things, and so we are opposed to it. And because um, we have just like geo, whatever the garbage truck crosses the street uh, during the summertime, during the summertime we cannot come outside because the smell is so bad. And um, when they come in, they uh, be driving past and dust out my, my, my front porch and wash my car. And the next day, it look like I haven't did anything. So I, we don't need anything else to come in our neighborhood. Well, they'll see one thing and then they'll take on Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anybody, any questions for present? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else here wishing to speak against this request can come forward this time if you wish to speak against the request. If you don't mind, ma'am, give me your name and address for the record. Yes, ma'am. And I'm against it, too, because we don't need no kind of service. We've already got stuff going on back there. It's free to do So we don't need to know the time for the church and stuff coming to happen. So we appreciate the development from me. Thank you. Any questions for the presenter? Commissioner? Thank you very much. Anyone else here wishing to speak against this request can come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak against this request? There being none, this closes the public participation of this request. Now the commissioners can have discussion amongst ourselves up here, commissioners. Do you have any other discussion or request amongst ourselves and or for staff? There being none, I will take a motion on this request at this time. Mr. Chairman, I move we find this consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommend approval to the city council. So we have a motion for approval. Any discussion on the motion? That being that, I'll take a second on this. I'll second. I have a, a motion for Commissioner Folsom, a second for Commissioner Hall. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. All against, please signify. Ms. Carmel, that passes 5-1-4. Thank you very much. Matt, you have